Okay, YouTube. This is Tommy here. I was just searching all over the internet and about the problem of uh, like this Dewalt 60 volt flex. I mean, this is about four years old, maybe more, and it's start to not charge. Okay, so when it starts not to charge, I mean, I already figured it out. So right now it's like full now, but like when i charged them before it would just blink and would just blink and stay it would blink once and then it turns off and then that's it so i put the, my my multimeter to sit from here and here from the b plus and b minus and it gives me 15 volts so it means that there's still power in it i probably just killed it and then this is a lithium ion so once it's below a certain number it would not charge so what i did is first i did some jumpering to kick start it like the b plus here and b plus here and then mean by b minus b minus it charged you know it charged but it's kind of not safe because i actually one time i have it shorted and it melts i use a thermostat wire which is uh 18 gauge and it shorted and just burnt my my leg so so i figured out a way so to make it safer so i put a, a, a five amp fuse here five amp uh, trip off it will you can reset this uh breaker here so if it ever gets shorted or overheat or anything goes wrong it would trip but to make it short I made instead of manually jumpering here this is this was a, a old broken charger so I took out all the guts and I'm just using the casing and a lot of space inside it I just used the casing so I could basically jumper this B plus and B minus here and going up to the other one which is this is the good charger and then I jumpered up I soldered it from here and here so basically is safer so what I do is I just put this in here let's say if this is dead so I, I, I'm using the casing so I'm doing like that so, and there's a breaker if it ever goes bad it would just trip and then here I can plug it in and then start charging this and charging this so basically the charger is charging two batteries there if you know a little bit of electro electronics it's charged parallel so the b plus and b plus b minus b minus it's not in series so so it will stop so this right here is actually like the sensor of how much is if if this two charger is more than like 20 point some 20.6 i'm not sure but i can make another video on when it stopped um something like that 20.65 it will send signal here in this middle here that is enough and it would cut off the power going to these two terminals and since this is parallelly connected to this it would also shut this off so basically when you don't when you don't plug this in if you don't turn this on like I have this switch here so if it's basically if that's off and I just do like that it's basically um, the power from here is going over here it's like making it balance until i turn this part the switch on that would charge this battery would charge this and this it might be so confusing it's my first video i'm not gonna edit any of this but i'm gonna make some improvement to make it even better i'm gonna put this um digital voltmeter so i'm gonna put it right here i mean i don't care if this goes out but i'm gonna put it right here okay that way that way i know what it is and i might need to buy also the other one that has an amp in it so i know how much current is going through here okay so i now have this this breaker here then i'm just gonna put this um the bolt meter here okay and that's it for today this is tommy follow me once i put this update here okay please follow subscribe or click the like button i don't know I'll just do it all right if you like my video I'm gonna probably also open this up and see how I connect everything maybe draw some circuits okay but 
you have to have a little learning of electronics to do this okay i mean i know electronics i think so okay but just don't get burned like what i did last time i burnt this right here because the the thing melt you know i guess it's not that i didn't know that it could burn but i just accidentally pull it out and then the two wires just touch you know you have this power here that's a lot 60 volts you know 9 amps you know that would melt an 18 gauge wire if it gets shorted you know so right now i'm using this wire which is about uh this is um let me see what's the size of this i think this is like a um 14 gauge but you know as long as you don't short it out and also if I can make it longer now so also when you have a bolt right here you to the tester and this is like 15 volts and then you're getting power from a 20 volt the power and the current from here that moves here is a lot so when it's a lot the wire will get warm you know but once you have this charge higher and it's like almost equalized the the current that flows to it is getting lower so it doesn't get hot or warm you know that's why you gotta put this so if you have too much current it would not melt this but it would trip off this before it even get worse you know so i'll make another video put a voltage here okay voltmeter all right thank you bye